Hello, Simon Flea here, back with another episode of Disguise 3. Cruel Destiny Plan. What cruel... <coughs> oh, right, he's been poisoned. What's wrong? He's been poisoned by that teddy bear. Oh, it's nothing. I probably just caught a cold. Are these guys really idiots? If you set up a booby trap, and the worst that happens from it is something as small and insignificant as a needle prick, there was something in that needle. Maybe you got an infection from your previous wound. Here, let me see it. She just looks at it and somehow it just turns completely neon blue. Uh, no, that's more than I deserve. If you're not feeling good, go get some rest in the nurse's office. No one will blame you for missing out. Yeah, because I actually remembered to heal before this fight. Thanks, but I'm fine. Really. Bill's right, Almaz. I don't need your help. My powers alone can handle this. Well, to be fair. Isn't that right, Salvatore the Magnificent? Ooh. You sensed my presence? You've grown much in such a short time. Yeah, who knew going inside your own heart and killing almost everything you see would have positive results? Where is your leader? Let's get this over quick. I want a leader versus leader duel. Hmm. You conceited white-haired kid! You have gotten somewhat better, but you're nowhere close to our leader! <laughs> Is that your way of acting like a big shot? What a coward! Alright then, I'll beat you up and force you to drag this leader of yours out! Don't act so arrogant, kid! There are powers in this world that are far beyond your imagination! Interesting! Let's see this power! Okay. Let's begin, Overlord Sun! Grow a thousand arms and fire rocket punches! Don't forget to scream! Rocket punch! So you want me to go play Asura's Wrath, then? Alright, I can do that for you! Yeah, right well, now, okay, that's actually a really fun game. I should just get the guys together for one night and just freaking play that all night long well, just for the so cutscenes. Ways, I don't think I can keep up with you anymore. <laughs> okay, boss fight time. And a weird stage. Is that a warp panel? Attack plus fit. This is give me flashbacks to this guy one. You had to kill, um, Volcanus. Volcanus had a stage similar to this in concept, where you're just in a staircase that's winding upwards. Let me boost plus... Okay, so let's see. Attack, 50%. Evade. Defense. And a boost. Oh, exactly none of those are good for me. Attack plus 50. I guess I wouldn't do anything for the defense. Hmm. Right now, Big Daddy. If I can lure them off the panels, that'd be preferable. But those are archer units as well. I could easily kill most of them with Mao, but the problem is I don't want to burn through all my SP before I even get to Salvador. Level 50, 5,000... Hmm. Almaz? Think you can be of actual use? How is there a... Target height problem has proven to be the bane of my existence. I'm honestly half expecting it to pop up just because my unit's too short. Oh, good, I can actually hit you with something. Well, it's better than nothing. And now she just goes and shoots her in the face. All these people just to kill one little samurai. Sorry about that, interrupted. So yeah, four units to kill one samurai. 
And her name wasn't even Jack. That was a good show. Samurai Jack. Attack Slash! As opposed to the Healing Slash! With the Health Sword. He's dead. You have killed Captain Marvelous. What are you, decayed? I do really find the current Kamen Rider is really fun. Then it's really fun just to go DRIVE TYPE SPEED! That is one thing I find so weird is how much English is in Japanese programming. Or at least Kamen Rider and Super Sentai, like... Think about it, imagine any TV show you watch, how much of a different language is actually in that show? Because the amount that's in Kamen Rider is really weird, I find. Like, it's really just unexpected. Like, even to the point where, um... The strangest instance of this has to be easily with Fies, because the tagline is in English. The tagline for the show is not even in the same language as the show. It's open your eyes for the next Fies. I just find that so weird. Like seriously, imagine if a show like Breaking Bad did that, where the tagline was in a was in just let's say Spanish. Like for a Spanish show, it would make sense, but for a completely different language, it's just odd. Wait a minute, they just have a healer unit up there all alone? That's peculiar. On the plus side, my units still are doing really good on health. Go. Downside is, I don't like the fact that there's a shaman here. I'm starting to think she's not a trap, but she's actually just an idiot. You've still got that ability? Yeah, stats of enemies decrease on map. I should probably just check through the abilities. Magic. Damage to adjacent allies decreased by... Okay, that's relevant. Bonus gauge. Okay, nothing that actually involves you then. During combo next to ally has 100% critical... Okay, separate them. Separate them quickly. And you, damage decreased by 30%. Okay, can't do much about that. Almost damage to adjacent... No, that's relevant. Mental damage increased by 20%. Increased by 20%. Damage taken from a special attack decreased by 50%. That one I don't like. I don't like that one one bit. In all honesty, I kind of just gonna say... Just shoot her. It's just one healer. Their armor's probably not that good to begin with, so let's just see how much damage we can... Oh, not enough. Screw it, just kill her. Or pair up, team up with whole horse, he's used to that. Ooh, money! <sighs> Do you have espoir? Good. Now you guys, make sure she can never do that ever again, through whatever means you find necessary. Good to see we're on the same wavelength. I'll wait a turn and heal him. It's good to send a defensive unit up first. Although, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I miss Armada. In all honesty, she's like the only character from this guy that I kind of want to adopt as one of my own. Just a female soldier who's basically obsessed with defense. Hell, I kind of figured out- hell, I kind of already got an idea for making her in D&D. &D. Just give her as high constitution as physically possible. And highest AC.
I don't know why, I just kind of like the idea of her. Then again, sometimes you don't really need explaining. It's like when someone asks me, like, okay, why is this guy your favorite? Sometimes I don't have a specific answer, it's just, I don't know why. All I know is he is. I don't question these things. I was about to say, you really can't hit him from here. Nah, that wouldn't be close enough. Defend! Ah, crap. I'm in perfect line for some of their moves. <laughs> kind of had that armor piercing to them on a silver platter. Now, I will let you take that hit, as long as you're willing to take some of mine. In all honesty, actually hit him. Thank you. Yeah, better go with a special move just to make sure she's dead. I'm not gonna lie, part of me does kinda wanna just rush through what's left of Disgaea 3. I kinda lost some of the motivation to finish it, like, I honestly... If I never find out how this story ends, I'm not gonna feel too bad about it. Damn it! Killed the whole horse! You're gonna pay for that one. You're gonna fucking pay for that one. I suppose you can hit her from down there. Damn it. Don't want her to live. Got it. Okay, now you. Please? Fuck you. God damn it, Sapphire. She kills you, you earned it. Then finish her off. There you go. Is that so hard? Okay. Hmm. An evade block. I can see some uses for that. Big Daddy, guard the entrance. I'll probably try to lure them over. Worst comes to worst, I can probably shoot at them. Stay there, I don't want to risk activating them early. Then again, they also have a healer unit. That can be problematic. Can I shoot them? Big Daddy, you go up front. Well, I guess I kind of want him on the yellow if I can get on the yellow. Problem is the damage reduction is gonna lower it quite a bit. I want him on the yellow. Defend, Sapphire, please heal. Plus side is they're all spear units, so the only one they can really hit is him. And if I block the area right behind him... Good, they are moving. Spear units, right. Okay. 
And this part's gonna take a little while. I have an idea. That idea requires you to survive. Okay. And no more defense with you. And your back is to us. He took a beating. Heal him. Heal him now. God damn it. I hate it when they just have that little bit of health left. And then he fucking heals him. Okay. Screw it, just kill him for God's sakes. Good. Okay, next up is the healer! Frick. Well, it doesn't matter, defense has already been breached. Oh, Big Daddy's gonna die. You can't heal him without healing the enemy. On the plus side, you did get to kill their sh healer. <sighs> Unfortunately, costed us a unit as well. Okay, you do Cocktail Shaker, you do Gunman Spirit, and hopefully we can do some actual damage to this guy. Good. I'm gonna start- I'm gonna summon Mao and start moving him up the course. Well, that's up to that one guy left. That one guy. Okay, I was about to ask, so where is the actual purple panel? But it's up there. Okay, same thing as the last guy, but it's gonna take less damage. Counter that. Counter it with more? Okay. Okay, just finish him off. I'm 
be the last healing. Let's make it count. Good. For security's sake, I should also send up Skyla. So you're out of SP finally? Only enough left for an S bar. That's not gonna help much at all. Okay, everyone, move on up. We gotta kill two magic knights. And Salvatore the Magnificent. On the plus side, I'm happy I got to kill as many people with as little people that I got to that I had to use. You know, you can just walk upstairs. You don't gotta jump. J just, just saying. So what I'm going to want to do definitely is get Salvatore off that enemy boost panel. Well, on the plus side, at least they already are. Um, this is not going to last long at all. Well, go out in a blaze of glory. Oh, good. Provide a little bit of support. Thank you. Yes, nice. Huh. Honestly, I was not expecting him to survive that turn. Oh, well, it's good that he did. You don't have any, enough SP to do another good attack. Yeah, I think Salvador is screwed. Hell, I honestly think I might be able, if I'm lucky, to pull it off without having to include Mao in it at all. Oh, and... Oh, that's just armor piercing. That's something we haven't seen before. Christiana. Goodbye. Mao? You know what? Actually, stay there for now. Let Salvador attack those two. They're expendable. Given your current mood, I don't think you're gonna mind at all. Actually, given any mood with him, I don't think he'd mind. Um... You know what? Yeah, Vesa Airgun. Why not live a little? Yes. Oh, right. Takes less damage from special moves anyways. That's the only way I'm going to be able to do serious damage to her. Oh, well. Miss? Jesus. This is bad. Stronger than I thought she was. On the plus side, she should not be able to attack the healer. Why does she have such high, of high evasion in the first place? I'm a higher level than she is. The Godfather! I don't get it. Why does she have such higher... Less damage than usual. I need to show off that D's gentleman power. You know what? I'm not even gonna heal him. Not like he actually did any serious damage. Yeah, you run away. 
it's not like she can get anywhere that I can't hit her. She won't retreat back to the enemy boost panel because she would have to be programmed to attack me. She has to be programmed to win as well. She would never go back there. That's what I thought. Starting to run out of SP, but I don't think that'll be an issue anymore. Scratch that, completely out of SP. Might be able to pull off one more attack with it, but... Doubt it. Can't even fit the Blade Rush in. Okay. Attacker. Damn it. Counter! Good. Okay. Take one step forward, and you Mega Heal him. Okay, you take two steps forward, and you Mega Heal him. And finish this off. Okay, that was actually a pretty fun map, not gonna lie. Thought it was pretty interesting. Okay, I guess we unlocked a masked hero. Kinda came out of nowhere, but I guess I got one of the characters leveled up enough for it. Want one? Name it. See my furious power? An overflowing surge of That actually I completely forgot. Um, I made the orc named Smooge from Toxic Killer. Sorry for the late thing, I just kinda completely forgot about it. Sorry about that. Now there are no enemies that can stand in my way. Except for the leader, who he clearly did not kill. Also, Master Big Star. Maybe the same person. This is indeed my true power. My long history of tough battles means nothing, for this was my first serious battle. Wow, he's completely narcissistic. You know, Amas, for someone who's poisoned, you did actually very well in that last match. We should poison you more often. You do know in your heart that this isn't really just your power, right? Be a little bit more honest. Don't you know anything? I'm the heir to the netherworld and the number one honor student. All that matters is my power. I do kind of like that the way I play my matches does kind of reflect his attitude. Like, I had Almaz and the rest of them do all the work, and he just kind of swept in for the last kill. You may be right. No demon other than our leader has beaten me while I was using the full extent of my power. <laughs> See? Even my enemy understands my powers better than you. But... But, Sir Mal, some of the strongest powers are driven by cooperation. Don't you see that? Yeah. You can't beat the power of love. No, I don't. And thankfully, I don't need to. And I'll prove it to you by beating the rest of the Diaz gentlemen. Unfortunately, the other members are all on field trips and school retreats. I'm the only one who's here. Convenient. You know, the DS gentleman went to those events. Then bring out your leader. I beat you, so I demand to see him. He is also absent. He is quite elusive, you see. Even I don't know where he is or what he normally does. Just like a true leader. <laughs> he fears me so greatly that he schemes to run for his life. Jeez, it's really hard for me to hear fear and great in the same sentence without being reminded of the final boss of this guy 4. Right behind you. Did you call for me, young master? <sighs> I saw that one coming. Ah, Jeffrey. Excellent. Your timing is perfect and most suspicious. Can you bring out the senior class leader as usual? I think he just did. <laughs> I thought this might happen, so I came prepared. Good. That's how it should be. It's been worth those long years of raising, grooming. Uh, what is he talking about? I knew that son of a bitch was evil! <laughs> Thinking back, it took so long. I was so patient. 
I miscalculated so, so many times. Yet, here we are. What are you saying, Mr. Jeffrey? Miscalculations? What is your plan? What's wrong? Enough of this talk! Just bring me the leader! I'm tired of waiting! You're tired of waiting? <laughs> but I'm glad... I'm so glad you've grown this much. Mao... <clears throat> I am the senior class leader! I fucking knew it! You? The time has come. 99 hours until Almas turns into a demon. Yeah, I don't think that's the important thing right now. He's mostly demon. Mostly. Danger has come to the netherworld. Almas now only has 99 hours left. Yeah, we're giving up. We can't just quit. There's still a chance. Spin the netherworld. <laughs> That'll never work. There are still some other methods, like flip 99 hours over and make it 66 hours. That gives you even less that time. Make any sense? And then I'll have less time. Next time on Super Happy Battle Hour, final episode, Almaz's last joke: tears don't go with comedy. So we're Goodbye, on the final Almaz. episode. We will never forget you. Just don't kill me. Okay, last episode. That's actually very good to know. I didn't expect Mr. Jeffrey to be the senior class leader and him really being the superhero this whole time. Totally blindsided. And to think that I've been looking up to that traitor as a role model. He tricked us and betrayed Mao. What a fearful honor student. He even puts demons to shame. It explains why he distrusts him so much. And it would also explain why Jeffrey was never allowed in his heart. Because Mao blocked Sir Aurum. But I still don't understand why the seniors are brainwashing the freshmen into becoming delinquents. Because this is all, if I had to guess right now, this is all to fulfill his ultimate desire of kill the Overlord, kill the Overlord, Kill the Overlord. When he met Mao that first time, he saw potential. Potential that he could use and abuse to create a warrior powerful enough to kill the one Overlord he could not. It's best if we don't think about it in demon standards. The superhero is a human, and humans are complicated. Does not explain how he survived for 200 years. I will admit that one. You're right. Thinking back on it, Mr. Jeffrey didn't really act like a demon. Indeed, with his undemon-like spirited enthusiasm, he was trying to raise Mao to be a great demon. No, Overlord. Raise a demon? I've never heard of such a thing. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. I can't be the real superhero. Sir Orem, the legendary hero of justice and courage, would never do such horrible things. Almaz. I know it. That one's a fake. It's an outrage. He's lying by calling himself a hero. Then show him what a true hero is, Almaz. No, that would be you. <laughs> okay, how are you fit in all this? Because apparently you also saw this coming. Almaz, are you such a fool that you can only see the dishes that are laid out before you? Huh? I am curious because... Shampoo's past is also kind of kept in mystery. Oh, Mao. We really don't know much about him other than he's the friggin' home ec teacher. That's so far where his personality began and ended. Let's see if you can't expand upon that. <laughs> Raise? Plan? For 200 years? He deceived me? It can't be! For me to be tricked? Inconceivable! Right, he was like that then, too. Not just once, but twice! He's an enemy I could never hate more. And to have him by my side that whole time and not know? What a fool I am! Yes, you are. Damn it! I couldn't even see through his lie. He duped me! What am I? Heroes, humans, they're all good for nothings! 
You think he's a friend one moment, and then he insults you beyond belief! How can I vent this humiliation? You know, it's kind of hard to see him t to take this outrage from him seriously when he does him so often. Um... <laughs> That's right. I have one right here. A human and a fake hero. Now, Mal... I can't stand you. Go ahead and die! Sir Mal, stop it! Slap! He's gonna kill me! What? He stopped? <laughs> My arms won't move. Why? Because while you were asleep, we inserted a nano chip under the skin of your neck. You are now under my control. Now, dance for me. I see. That fake hero title must be getting in my way. Oh, he still has that. I didn't even notice. Being useless is one thing, but to interfere with everything I do, what do I do with this rush of anger? Mouth. You pent it Stop up inside and let it explode. Don't be stupid. It couldn't have been. Now that most of my subconsciouses are gone, I should have full control. If there are any exceptions, then it's that fake hero title I got from you, liar. Oh, it's not like he's been tr It's not like he hasn't been trying to take it away from you. You don't know that. Maybe you just don't realize it, but your heart is actually yeah, shut up! Don't try to turn this into your own perverse sentimental story! Can we please go ten minutes without talking about his goddamn heart? I honestly just don't care. I got it. I'll prove to you how badly I hate humans right now with my own actions. Oh, sweet buttery Christ. What are you? A demon must instill fear in as many humans as possible. You have not been living up to that one at all throughout the entirety of this game. With Almaz, yes. With Sapphire, absolutely not. <laughs> I've decided to get even for all that time he's played me for a fool. Is this the second disguise game where we get to take over the world? I will destroy the human world. Dun dun dun. Human world? You can't do that! Even though you are an honor student, that's just going too far! I understand how you might feel, but that won't make you feel any better. You know, I just realized we could probably f solve a lot of this issue if we asked his dad for help on this one. You're right, that's not enough. <laughs> Let's see. I can round up all the humans for a grand experiment. Get me, and I'll give it back a million fold. An eye for an eye, experiment for experiment, that's the demon's way. Are you sure you don't want to just do experiments? Just you wait, humans. I'll show you how fearful my vengeance can be! No good! The balance of taste is getting off kilter! Was it because of the gratuitous release of potential without consulting the recipe? Okay, so it turned out that Jeffrey was secretly Sir Orem, but are you secretly someone else, Shamplu? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. The only question is who. I haven't exactly met any other mysterious characters. At this rate, our precious dish will turn out repugnant. Could this have been a part of his plan as well? Oh, how could I let this happen? I don't know. Who the hell are you? Maybe I'd be able to answer some of your questions if you'd give me some answers. Chapter 7, An Eye for an Eye. Okay, I'm gonna look up. I don't know... They would have called this the final episode if it was, so it still isn't. God damn it. Are we in a different location? No. Okay, I was wondering who's gonna replace Sir Jeffrey. Or Sir Orem, I guess. <sighs> Oh well, that was one... Definitely interesting plot developments in this one. Well, I guess we're gonna have to see how this turns out next time. I will see you guys next time for Chapter 7. Bye!